Right, we're going to look at rational expressions today and like complex fractions. So if you know how to multiply and divide rational expressions, if you know how to multiply and divide fractions, we can do this. So basically we have a fraction and a fraction creating a big fraction. And all we need to know how to do is how to just rewrite it to understand what's going on. So let's rewrite it. Um, we usually read from left to right, top down. That's what we're doing here. We're gonna take a top down problem and rewrite it left to right. So 8x squared over y divided by, divided by 4x over y to the third. We're done. We just took this and made it in, into a form that we can understand. Now we also understand we can't divide by a, by a fraction. So instead we multiply by its reciprocal. So we don't need that. Okay, now it's just a matter of simplifying everything that we've already done with uh, rational expressions. Uh, four and eight, they share a number. They share that number four. Four goes in there once, four goes here twice. I have x and I have two x's leaving us with one x. I have one y and three y's leaving us with two of them up there, up on the top. What are we left with? Two x y squared. Two x y squared on the bottom. Everything canceled. There you go. So we're starting off with a really ugly looking problem, but when we can simplify it and break it down into a form that we understand, it becomes less scary. So let's rewrite it. Fraction, fraction, big fraction. So we're gonna say two over x plus three divided by five over x squared minus nine. So I don't like this. I'm gonna change this to multiplication and we have to do the reciprocal here. But while I do that, I'm also gonna factor this. So up top, xx, x, three, three, plus minus, we have the difference of squares. On the bottom, just five. Now we can do this. Do we have anything up top and on the bottom? Same, yes. Plus three, plus three, gone. What are we left with? Two parentheses x minus three. And on the bottom, five. You could multiply these together to give you two x minus six, but we don't need it. We don't need to do all that extra work, just leave it. We have things broken down into little pieces to help us out. So leave them, leave them be. Let them stay in that, in those small little pieces. Again, let's rewrite because I don't like fraction fraction into a big fraction. So we say x plus four over x minus one divided by x squared six x plus eight over two x minus two. So now I have a form that's a little easier to read. Uh, we do not like division, so we're gonna multiply by its reciprocal. So I'm gonna factor and switch these. So two x minus two, we both share two. Inside, you're left with x minus one. We use that on the bottom. Two parentheses, x and x, give us x, give us x squared. What two numbers multiply together give us eight, but add or subtract to give us six. So you've got one and eight and two and four. I like two and four and plus plus, goodbye. Now let's start canceling out anything up top, anything on bottom, even if they're separated, it doesn't matter. So x minus one, x minus one, x plus four, x plus four. Uh, can that two and that two cancel? Uh-uh, this is all by itself. This two is kind of stuck with that x, so it's like binomial with binomial or monomial with mono. Can't do monomial, binomial. So we just leave it the way it is. Two up top. We've got two up top and on the bottom, x plus two. Can't do anything with it, so we leave it. And that is uh, complex fractions with in rational expressions.